On July 26, at about 3.30 a.m., Azerbaijani armed forces opened fire from small arms of various calibers at Armenian positions located in the Gilar Kunik section of the Armenian Azerbaijani border. As the press service of the Ministry of Defense of Armenia told News.am, the opponent's actions were suppressed by the return fire of the Armenian military personnel. There are no casualties from the Armenian side. Conscript Arman Atasyan, who was seriously injured as a result of the shootout on the Armenian Azerbaijani border, regained consciousness. His life is not at risk. Arman's father, Gorgen Atasyan, told News.am. Thank God, he has already regained consciousness. He is talking. Doctors say that his life is not at risk. He said, noting that Arman underwent a surgery and had a kidney removed. When asked under what circumstances Arman was wounded, Gurgen Atasyan said that he did not know much about the details. He only knows that there was a clash between Armenian and Azerbaijani soldiers, as a result of which three servicemen were wounded. 112 new cases of coronavirus infection were reported in Armenia per day, bringing the total number to 228,910. In fact, 4,037 persons are currently being treated. 219,168 people recovered and 4,590 patients died. The body of People's Artist of Armenia, legendary Duduk player Jivan Gasparyan on Saturday was taken out of Aram Khachaturian Concert Hall in Yerevan. With applause, many cultural, public and political figures as well as relatives said their last goodbyes to Gasparyan. Acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and his wife were also attending. Gasparyan's body will be laid to eternal rest on the same day at the Komitas Pantheon of the Armenian capital. Jivan Gasparyan passed away on July 6th at the age of 92. The Office of the Human Rights Defender of Artsakh, Nagorno-Karabakh, today received an alarm according to which a resident of Machkalashen village of Martuni region has been captured. This is what Ombudsman Geram Stepanyan wrote on his Facebook page, adding the following. After gathering the facts, it was established that the captive is a 32-year-old resident of Machkalashen village who was captured while raising cattle and seeking lost cattle in the territory under the control of Azerbaijani armed forces. The authorities of the village informed the Russian peacekeepers about this.